I know that right now I'm playing two games, which is um, Red Dead Redemption 1 and also Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare uh, Remastered. But however, this is a game I have to like come back to or check out. And the reason I say come back to is because this game, uh, when it first came out, I did pre-order it. But for some reason, hear me out. But for some reason, I did not touch it. I don't know why. I mean, I think it was during that time because I did mention in several early videos, like several early gameplays that um, when certain games came out, like certain times, I was in a spot where I was in um, having a lot of personal and financial issues. So I couldn't really devote much time into like video games and anything like that. So that's why I think uh, what I did, what happened was I purchased this game, but I only saw the gameplay uh, video online of like uh, what it's entitled but that's pretty much it i never played the story i never did anything like that because like i said it was a really difficult time in my life but now things are stable a uh, little bit more stable and a little bit more relaxed that i'm able to explore all these videos and all these video games here so today i'm going to try out sifu and see where it goes from there but i've seen a lot of reviews saying like it's a really difficult game like you need to have like really good uh reflexes or reactions to like uh, buttons and also like kind of hand hand-eye coordination kind of like if you were actually fighting in the game but i know it's like a hand-to-hand -hand combat game and um the graphics is a little bit more like cartoonish in a way uh if that's the right word but besides that that's all i know so without anything else i'm really excited to like jump into this, uh jump into it and see what happens from there so let's get into it by the way guys i'm playing this on an easy difficulty so if you guys are wondering like how i'm doing so well that's why <laughs> eight years ago Yeah, so it kind of looks a little bit more like a cartoon or like anime. Oh, look at my character. So he's got that chain on, the long hair and everything. Heavy attacks. Uh, deflect parry. Damn, dude, he's got speed. He's got hands, man. You don't want this smoke. What's going on? Who are you? Move who's first. Who wants to go first? So you could choose dialogue. Leave him to me. Stop. <laughs> oh, this is Oh. Okay, so uh, triangle and circle are like the finishers. Oh, spin heel kick. <laughs> that was one hell of a finish. So, so far like being surrounded and like fighting, it kind of reminds me of like the Batman Arkham series where um, Batman is like fighting multiple enemies at the same time. It kind of reminds me of that. Uh, vault and climb. Okay. I thought you said they'd put up a fight. I'm barely breaking a sweat. Don't be arrogant. Sweep the place. Uh... Sweep the place. Sweep the place. Nobody leads. Sure. He's just smoking with the bow staff. <laughs> Is there any like collectibles uh, in this game? Like you just uh, find um, like additional items or content, like a scavenging, or is this just one of those like pure story story games? Which way? Which way? Okay, nothing here. A oh, rush. Oh, so this is a sprint. Uh. 
the hell is that? Get him now! What? Oh! What's our one? Oh! I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so, I guess R1 is like kick certain chairs or stools. Okay. And. Okay, so you can use certain items as weapons, like bottles and chairs and everything. Okay, so using like your environment. I like that. Hey, get back, I got a bottle. It's been a while. Nice to see you. It's been a while. Get him! <laughs> Stop! Okay, so dodge is left stick with the R. Whew! I'm just going right through all of them. Oh, I'm loving this so far. This is amazing. Damn, who's this? Where is he? That's all you gotta say? Oh, so that's the Sifu. You know why I'm here, don't you? Just step aside. You were a mistake. Uh, I should never have taught you. Now you know too much. Okay, master versus I'm student. Here tonight, you've given me a second chance. This time, I will do what I must. Oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> Looks like uh, my character knows a little bit of Wing Chun. Woo! Dude, that hand speed is crazy. Damn, dude, Sifu's got some strength. Round two. I see nothing but a frightened, angry child. When I move forward while he's talking, he uh Whoa, what was that? Dude, I'm getting my ass kicked. Let's hold L2. Oh, like certain certain moves. Oh, there's someone hiding. I 
wonder what it is. Show yourself. She's your character, boy or girl. Boy. I also like how it's in, uh, I think it's Mandarin, like the Mandarin translation. Oh, so it's a revenge. That's what motivates him. Oh, that was a nice transition. The Botanist. Deflect Perry. Dude, he's got speed! Oh, so this is kind of like a tutorial for moves. The fighter. Okay, avoid low, high attacks, low attacks. Oh, okay, so... Oh, that was nasty! <laughs> Who's next? The artist. Palm Strike. By the way, that weapon, I know it's called the Senjigun, the Coiling Dragon Staff. Oh, okay, this one's a little bit difficult to do, the move. And I just realized that she only has one arm. Finally, the leader. Damn. That was a sick combo. Sifu. Now that's one hell of an introduction. present day so how old are we now I mean cuz we didn't look we probably looked around maybe nine or nine or ten years old maybe so maybe uh, like 18 I'm guessing 
Let's explore. F Fajar. The botanist. Machete, mustache, who? He's the one who cut my throat that night. He's first on my list. He works for a gang as a botanist and never leaves that warehouse. Let's zoom out. Oh, so we kind of got like a detective leaderboard type thing. The squats. This used to be an industrial district. Once uh, work dried up, everyone left. The gangs took over. It became a no-go zone. Uh, the sanctuary. A refuge for the terminally ill. It grants them access to a range of traditional healing methods to try and alleviate their pain. It has gained a strange reputation over the years thanks to its so-called medical miracles. Hmm. The club. An infamous nightclub in the city. The owner is a good friend of Sean's. I remember his father complaining about the guy's attendance at school. It appears the client uh, clientele uh, aren't much better. <laughs> Sean, the fighter. Uh, I met him several times when I was a kid. Our fathers knew each other as Kung Fu masters. I can't believe he took part in their deaths. He's involved in an event called The Burning taking place in the club. I need to get there early when it's not too crowded. Yang, the leader. That's, oh, by the way, before I read, I just want to say I really like that introduction that we didn't start off as the main character. We start off as the leader and show his motivation and intentions like why he's doing uh, why he's doing what he's doing. So I really like that. Trained and raised by my father and Sifu, we were close. He taught me a lot over the years. He disappeared with his wife and daughter when I was still a child. He came back years later and murdered my father in cold blood. He now lives above the city and runs a traditional healing center, but he doesn't appear to be in touch with the world. So he's probably the one in charge of the sanctuary. Alright. Um, Jin Feng, the CEO. Alongside my father, Jin Feng was highly renowned and respected among the city's kung fu masters she was always the first to defend the underprivileged and helpless and always held a strong sense of justice i don't know why she turned against them but she will pay for that so basically um she actually did care and help the people in need but then all of a sudden she just turned against them and became uh, uh profited from that hmm. now she has become the head of a vast and extremely powerful corporation she's still helping those in need uh Al albeit with uh, greater means but her sudden increase in wealth is very suspicious so that means she probably has like off uh, offshore or off uh, book records uh, making profits the tower the highest building in the city located in a recently constructed district Jin Feng has her office on the top floor of the building so she's the rich and influential one Kuroki Kuroki uh, the artist Kuroki's uh, past is hard to investigate. All I know is that she is Japanese and rumors tie, to, tie her to the underworld world. Underworld world. <laughs> Something must have happened to force her into exile here in China. She now runs an art museum. She works there day and night on her most ambitious exhibition to date. The museum. The museum is a brand new high class building financed privately. I'm going to bank, uh, bet that it's Jin Feng that like financed and uh, like invested in all of the uh, buildings. Oh, it's, it's, it's what I wrote. Father, I will avenge you. Oh, skill tree. Oh, so we're 20 years old. Uh, I mean, I may be covering it right now, if you guys can't see it, but I'm 20 years old, it says on the top left. And I like how there's uh, Mandarin translation for everything. So 360 swing focus, strong sweep focus, snap kick, spin hook kick, charge back fist, face smash focus, weapon catch, hmm, pushback cancel. Uh, ground counter, environmental mastery, throw an item, weapon, or object directly from the ground. Oh, this is the stool one that we used earlier. Uh, I'll take a look at these uh, later when I'm trying to upgrade, when I get the uh, points needed.
What's this? Training mode. Um, avoid. And to gain your structure and punish specific moods. Let's try deflect. Because I want to try deflect and parry. Alright, deflect three times. Press the guard button just before being hit to deflect most attacks. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, so this is really based on timing. Got it. Let's try parry. Uh, parry five times. Deflect specific attacks to trigger a parry, leaving the enemy exposed. Oh, I deflected too early. Okay. That's all I needed. I wanted to learn how to parry and uh, deflect. So, they were really serious when you said that you need to have like certain reflexes to make sure you withstand it. Uh, default outfit, traditional outfit of your kung fu school. Kill Yang, so vengeance. So it looks like we'll get these when we um, uh, unlock with the deluxe edition. Yeah, I did buy the deluxe edition. Ooh, drip. Let's swap character. Oh, from male to female. Okay, I want this at least, but let's see if we got more. Enforcer armor, deluxe edition. Clear the goal squad leader and the squats. Uh, stunt double. So this is like deluxe edition additional. Urban flare. Okay, not bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go with young man suit because that actually looks pretty nice. And to be ass in the, uh, in this outfit, this it's cool. The squats start. Or wait, what's modifiers? Uh, slower at enemy attacks buildup is a modifier in student difficulty only. Uh, enemy, advanced enemies got a weaker variation. Vampire beating some specific enemies decrease your age by one is a modifier. They do not hinder your progression but high scores will not be saved. So basically these are cheats. Now nah, I'm just gonna leave it alone then. Who knows, maybe in the future. Alright, let's head to the squats. All right, start. They've blocked the entrance to the warehouse. We need to find another way inside. <laughs> the squats. Well, they clearly don't want uh, us in there. Glowing. Get lost. Nothing here for you. You're telling me I can jump that. <laughs> I warned you. Wow. Okay. Ooh, X kick. Okay. Okay, I can't jump over that. I like I really like how smooth it is, like the fighting and the movement. Okay, so we jump up there, but I want to take a look down here first. Skull letter? Locked until we can say so. I found this note stuck on a door blocking my way into the warehouse. Okay, so it looks like we find things that like we can add to our like uh, clue board or whatever you want to call it. Avenue door. If I can get it open, this will be a useful shortcut. So we can, uh, so like when we come back here, I'm guessing, or. Oh, bottle. Nope. I want that pipe. <laughs> Come into our place. Go. Let's go. 
Yeah. How'd you get it? Oh man, this is really cool. Junkies. I don't think they'll be a problem. Okay, no. We can leave him alone. Okay, nothing here. Hey, how's it going? I also like the part where they like make contact with uh, whatever's behind them, like a wall or like this uh, column. Then they also take damage. So I really like how they took account of that. need to run at it oh take a look at my pipe you can see how like it's bent a uh, bent so that means it's starting to take some uh like damage who else who else Dude, that hand speed is crazy. Purple mist. The drug produced here. It appeared a few years after the death of my father and its use has increased dramatically throughout the city. Yeah, I'm willing to bet that the botanist is the one who's like creating and distributing it. Wait, is there anything here? Before we go? <laughs> okay, so there's nothing. Open it! Open up! Don't make me bust this damn door down! Check this fucking clown out! What are you doing? Oh, I like it. Oh, we changed, uh, like, point of view. Hallway fight. Oh, the pipe broke. Oh, damn. Pick up the pipe. It's the first time it took some damage. What's up? Man, I'm just clearing through this building. Oh, the phone broke. Okay, through the window. Oh, you're gonna regret that. Thanks, bro. Man. 
Oh, takedowns, like, heal me. Okay. Nice to know. Whoa. Okay, so this one's different. Okay, so some attacks you have to, like, dodge. Yeah, the enemies are starting to become a bit more difficult now. The warehouse. I'm getting closer. What's this? Uh, pick one reward. Um, increase maximum structure. So it looks like the maximum structure is like basically how you can like hold out until you get stunned or staggered, whatever the right word is. Increase health gained on takedowns. Increase weapon durability. Increase structure gain on successful avoid. Uh, increase focus uh, gain on successful avoid or parry. Parry impact, increase impact of parry on opponent structure. Oh, this is going to take some points. Uh, focus reserve, add another weapon proficiency, so it improve weapon damage and impact on opponent structure. That actually sounds cool. Uh, rejuvenate, recover five years. <laughs> hmm. I like all these. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one and open the skill tree so now I can unlock all these so this is where I stopped basically taking a look at these chip kick well I am hitting triangle a lot so this would be good slide kick Weapon mastery. And it costs more than the others, which means it's pretty good, so. Alright, looks like that's all I can do for right now. Damn, he got hops. Nice, just making quick work of them. Another jump here. I can make it. Okay, run. <laughs> Shame, I'll have to throw you back through it. Oh, big guy. Alright, what you got? Avoid throws, L1, and... Oh, okay. Oh, damn. Damn. Okay, so R2 is dodge, so these are like the most important buttons. Nice. Bills. Drug money, dirty money, no doubt, blood money too. Hmm. Thing here? No. So it looks like we just gotta jump right down. <laughs> Let's sneak up on him. <laughs> All 
Okay, so there's no like sneak attack. You just gotta uh, really surprise them, like Blitzkrieg. I really like that. Because some of them have like much bigger health bars than than like some uh, some of the others. Alright, so far so good. Oh, another pipe, thank you. Club fire, uh, club flyer. <laughs> the burning, 10 p.m., the club. It's where I hope to face Sean. I overheard one of the thugs talking about betting on something uh, going down there tonight. Okay. So we really have to like look around and see if we can find clues or anything that could help us. Okay, looks like that's all of it. <laughs> right through the glass. Uh, before we go there... Uh, metal gate. This gate keeps their dirty money safe. Okay, we can't go through there. How the fuck you get in here? With great difficulty. Simple, I beat up everyone. Gonna make things a lot Don't even think about it, asshole. This little tour you've been taking ends here and now. Alright, your turn. No way. No fucking way. Oh man. Bunch of keys. Moving through the warehouse will be a lot easier with these keys. Nice. These will be useful. Okay, here we are. Let's see. Oh. Uh, I want this one. Like, increase health gained on takedowns. Because we do a lot of takedowns. Open the skill tree again. Uh, where's that? Yeah, here. I want to do this one because there's a lot of things I see on the ground that we can use to do that R1. Uh, just like how we did the stool at the beginning. Alright, let's keep going. What's that? Like... What's that sound in the background? Was that just part of the music? Sounds like a broken fire truck. Like the bells and all that. Almost there. Need to get through that door. Yeah, but we gotta go through all these people too. We have a city to deliver to. Boss wants everything shipped out of here today. Move it! Move it! Hey, you. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, some of these guys are pretty tough. Yeah, see? It makes it so much easier to do the environmental mastery. Oh man, I took a huge chunk of health. Nice. <laughs> that was actually pretty tough. Purple flower, the flower used to create the purple mist. I wonder what's the effects of like the purple mist. I mean like in Detroit Become Human it was a red mist. <laughs> Still metal pipe, I'm pretty sure this has better durability than a bamboo stick. I don't care. I don't care what your boss said. I'm going to I tried to do that environmental takedown on him. Or here, maybe. Oh. <clears throat> Man, the big guys are actually tough. Squats, 9,684, new uh, high score. Hmm. Alright, another one. Hmm. Yes, I want this one. Because I, 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 I see to like parry a lot more than um, deflect. So. Man, how much further? Where is this guy? <laughs> key card 206. Uh, pass key for a room at the sanctuary. Oh, okay, so it's gonna come in handy when we get here. Okay, nothing here. Private room door. It looks like someone's private room. So those keys don't even work. Oh, that's him, right? Yo, that's crazy. Nice reflex. Damn, this guy's fast. Just gonna hit L1 and R2 a lot. <laughs> I 
Whoa. He was out of the camera angle. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, man. All right, that's right, L2. Ice strike. Nice. Oh, he pulled out the machete. He knows he now it's going to get serious. Damn, he just grew a whole force in seconds. And maybe we should spare him, and he could save, like, the, you know, the rainforest. Whoa. Sliced up. Damn. Like I said, just hit L1 and R2 a lot. Oh man, our first death. Permanent unlock. Why, why is there a permanent unlock? I want this one. Hold to rise. Age 21. So when we die, we come back older. <laughs> Oh, there goes the botanist. <laughs> Alright, so we're back home. That was really fun. Alright, so we scratched that one off the list, the botanist. And looks like with the keys, and now we can, if we go back there, we can like, um, travel a little bit faster. What's this one? Uh, Juggernaut. Difficult to stop him, he can take hits, and he still tries to grab me. I should avoid his attacks and strike him the moment I have the opportunity. So I wonder where we're gonna head to next. Um... But I'm gonna call it, but I just wanna take a look. Uh, the club. Oh, so the club. So that means... The club. So Sean the fighter is the one we're gonna be facing next. Alright guys, so... 
that's gonna be it. So that's the very first part of uh, Sifu, and so far I am loving this game. I say um, I did pretty well, but then again, I played on a very easy difficulty, so that's why. Uh, maybe I'll uh, change it up. A Wait, can I change the difficulty? Well, if, if I can, maybe I'll like increase it. But either way, it was a lot of fun. Like the movement is very smooth, the fighting and everything, the dodging, the parrying, deflecting, and using the environment to your advantage, like kicking stools or using a bamboo stick or pipes. I really loved it. So it, it's a lot of fun. And so far, I rate this game a good, um, maybe like a nine out of 10 right now. The reason I say nine out of 10 is because uh, I don't want to just give a 10, out, a 10 out of 10 just based on the first video. I want to like progress and see like how it goes so far, but nine out of 10 just based on the first video is amazing. So this game is amazing. And I really like how they did the intro instead of playing as the main character. Like I said, you play as the villain, the one that you're going to go after. And uh, it builds up to like you killing your old Sifu as the villain and you killed, well, uh, you try, uh, Technically, you did kill the um, main character, well, the Patanis did, and you see how he came back to life, and he uh, now seeks revenge, and that is his motive for like eight hard, uh, eight long hard years of training to like uh, master his skills, so that way he's skilled enough to go after all the ones that took the life of his father, especially the leader Yang. So either way. I'm having a lot of fun and I will be playing a second uh, episode soon. I don't know when, but I hope you guys will keep a lookout for that. So make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I drop another episode of Sifu. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my gameplay. And also thank you so much for your continu uh, continued support. I really do appreciate it. Hope you guys are having an amazing day or night wherever you guys are. And I'll see you guys next time.